This is Alan with the Growing Network. Welcome. Today on tap, elk and beef jerky. We're going to be using our Traeger grill and the authentic jerky juice from Jerky Gold. So let's go ahead and get smoking. When you're looking for a choice of meat to use for making beef jerky or elk jerky, you want to make sure that it's a lean cut. This is a sirloin of an elk. We're going to go ahead and slice this into quarter inch thick slices. We'll go ahead and get to the beef chuck that I have in the freezer right now. It's in there for about you know 20 minutes, that way it firms up. Again, you want to make sure that you cut one quarter inch thick slices. and that'll make for perfect jerky. Growing up as a kid, I remember making beef jerky with my dad and I passed on that tradition with my kids. My kids absolutely love when I make beef jerky. We're doing elk jerky uh, and beef jerky. Uh, so the next step is to add a marinade. Uh, the jerky gold marinade has all the ingredients in there so there's no guesswork when it comes to making the marinade. So this bottle will make three to four pounds of jerky. And all you need to do is shake it up, place your jerky into a Ziploc bag and toss in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours. We're going ahead and do that now. There we go. Looking forward to making this. All right. This smells phenomenal, guys. I'm going to go ahead and leak out the air. There we go. Let's go ahead and get to the beef. Now, on to the beef. As you can see here, the it's much fattier than the elk that we just previously carved up. What you're going to want to do is carve off as much of the sinew and the connective tissue as possible. Uh, obviously, no, no, not to butcher it too much. As you see here, we've trimmed off a lot of the fat. The scraps, you want to make sure you keep those for making sausages or other, you know, things you can make with it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and slice this up. This was placed in the freezer for about 20 minutes, so this firms up the meat. You definitely can use an electric slicer, which I have, but for the, this demonstration, I'll make sure that everybody can see that you can do it with a regular knife. So again, make sure you grip it, uh, quarter inch thick slices, cut against the grain, and that will make perfect beef jerky. We finished slicing up our chuck roast. Look at these beautiful slices. This is going to be phenomenal, guys. Let's go ahead, take our jerky gold marinade, give it a good shake. Wow, that smells just like jerky. You would think what jerky would t uh, smell like. Um, wow, that tastes phenomenal. You can definitely taste the garlic. In there. It's got a little hickory uh, flavor to it. We're going to go ahead and smoke with hickory, but not too overpowering. Let's go ahead and toss this into a Ziploc bag. Getting your marinades already pre made, especially from you know Jerky Gold, simplifies the process of doing it yourself and making sure that you get the ingredients correct takes off the uh, hassles of doing it. So again, make sure you burp your bag, get all the air out. All right, there we go. Give that a good mix. Now for the hardest part, putting this in the fridge and letting it go for 12 hours. Uh, you can let it go for 24 hours. You know, it's totally doable. Now that the hard part is over, the long wait, Let's go ahead and get to the easy part, and that's firing up our Traeger grill. 
We made sure that our hopper is filled with pellets. We're using hickory pellets. And we'll go ahead, turn the unit on, and then turn it on to smoke. Okay, the next step is open your lid. And we'll let this go for 10 minutes and get the meat and start laying it on the grill. So our smoke has been preheating for 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and start placing the jerky or the beet on our grill. Just wanna make sure that you evenly space it out. That way it cooks evenly. We're gonna cook this for approximately four to five hours. We'll check back throughout the cooking process. We've been cooking for about an hour and a half now, so let's go ahead and take a peek. That looks and smells phenomenal, guys. We'll go ahead and flip these over. Let this go for about another hour. And they should be about done because they're starting to get a little, they're firming up, so we'll check back then. We've been cooking for three hours and 15 minutes. The jerky is done. What you want to do is take a piece and you want to make sure that you got a little bit of resistance. You don't want it, you know, where that it breaks. We're going to let this set and rest for about 15 to 30 minutes once we pull it. The cool thing with the Traeger is once you leave it on smoke, the temperature runs about 180. So you can definitely do this, you know, in a dehydrator or your oven, but that's why we love our Traeger. We want the additional smoke flavor to it. Let's go ahead and pull this off. Again, we'll let it rest for 15 to 30 minutes before we give this a try, and we'll do that next. Now for the taste test. I brought my two sons with me. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try so we can see a honest opinion of what this tastes like. All right, boys. As you can see here, definitely pliable. Wow. That tastes phenomenal, guys. I don't see this lasting long. I want to thank the fo fine folks at Jerky Gold for providing the marinade for this uh, you know, recipe. Um, and my friend Jim for providing the elk. We'll make sure that we'll get you a bottle of the marinade. That way you can do this yourself. Uh, and for those out there watching, make sure you check them out. Make sure you subscribe and thumbs up the video and we'll see you on the next one.